Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will be continuing my Game Maker tutorial and where the hell is it? Is it Yo-Yo Games or Game Maker? Game Maker 8.1. So we will be continuing my Game Maker tutorial and first off we need to exit out of that and then we're going to open up our uh, previous one. I just called it Tut because I'm lazy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just get in paint and we're going to make our enemy real quick because I'm lazy and I'm not going to do this beforehand. So, 32 by 32, and it's going to be a turtle looking bastard, okay? He'll be bright green. And somebody inspired me to make this bad boy recently. I was actually at the camp because he made a turtle and it looked really good. But I'm really lazy when it comes to programmer art and don't put any time into it. Like, he actually could have, like, you know, that'd be legitimate art you put, art you put in a game. But mine was like, whatever, I don't care. Like, it, it's quickly made like this. He was putting time into it. But whatever, I'm lazy. What you gonna do about it? Uh, boop, derp, derp. And then we'll just give him an eye. File, save as is desktop. On mine should be Game Maker Tutorial. There she blows. We'll call it a uh, turtle. And this will be an evil turtle. It'll be a real evil turtle. So we're gonna load him up in here. Uh, here he is. Turtle. Sweet. Okay, and then I need to rename him Turtle. And then we're gonna make our object um evil turtle. And make him evil turtle. So we're gonna make two evil turtles and this will be evil turtle left right and his he's gonna need a sprite. Solid and uh his sprite shall be turtle. And we're gonna do some improvements to this turtle later, but uh, I need to hide this at all times. Anyways, so his first event will be when he creates. We're gonna have him move to this way at a speed of four. I like four; it's a good speed. So we're gonna do that. And what's gonna happen is when he collides with the wall, we want to reverse his direction each time he hits the wall. It's so like he'll hit the one wall on the left. I'm going to reverse it so he starts going to the right. It hits the wall on the right. It reverses his direction. He starts going left. So we just come over here to the movement. And it will be reverse horizontal direction. Applies itself. Now we get into our rooms. And I didn't explain this last time. I want to rename our room that we put the guy in. Rooms are like levels. Okay. You know, for each level in the video game, there are rooms in Game Maker. Stupid, I know. But what are you going to do? So we're just going to call this test level. Because, you know, things need names. And, um, got our evil turtle left, right, and then put him right there. Start it up. Check him out. Would you look at that? Now, I don't think he currently interacts with the rest of the world. Yeah, he doesn't interact with us yet. But he's an evil guy, and you don't want to mess with him. So, why is that gray? Why is the blue the color that's color keyed out? Not white. Oh, I remember. So we'll go to Turtle, um, we're going to modify him a little bit. Where is the Game Maker Tutorial? Turtle, edit. I got this. What happens is the uh, color that they choose to color key stuff out is the bottom left hand corner. And that's stupid, it's the pixel on the bottom left hand corner. So we'll change our Turtle, go back in the Game Maker, um, load sprite, Turtle. And then get back in the test level yep there he is properly color keyed now so he bounces back and forth that's pretty slick I like that so we can make so what's gonna happen is every if you collide with a turtle and I actually wanna make him go faster than a player so let's get him up here and we're just gonna what am I looking for yeah this one right here to create give him speed I'm gonna give him a six make him book around this this piece up in this piece there we go perfection right there now evil turtle left to right is pretty cool but I want to name him so he doesn't have any you know spaces in the name because that's just dirty I don't like it evil turtle left to right and we're gonna improve him next to tor next uh, video that's when I'll introduce uh, variables as they're done in game maker which is you know they're weird as well and this will be evil turtle up, down, and uh, his sprite 
going to be our turtle, of course. He'll be solid as well. And this time, it's when you create him and we give him his movement, he'll be going up at a speed of 6, was it? And what's happened instead of uh, when he, he's going to do the wall collision, instead of this time reversing the horizontal, we're just reversing the vertical. That simple. That's how simple it is to make games in this just amazing piece of software. And it's not that good. I don't. It's not like amazing. But like it's quick for making tech demos, like I said, which is why I use it. So, you know, as you can see, these guys will be difficult to get past because, like, in our game, you're going to have to dodge around them. And it's just going to, like, be. It's going to be difficult. And, oh my goodness, we're going to get to audio soon. And that's so easy in here on, like, C and SDL where you have to declare your channels. And I like it a lot more that way because it actually feels like I'm actually doing something. But here's our enemy. Now, we're going to make it so when we hit our enemy, we're going to um, restart the room. And we want to make it so, uh, I'm not going to add lives. We're just going to make it so your score is the number of deaths you have. So, uh, player, we're going to go to, uh, collision, add event, collision with, uh, left, right turtle, and add event, collision, up, down turtle. When you do, when you collide with the up, down turtle, or the left, right turtle, what we're going to want to do is we're going to reset, restart the room. And the transition will be, uh, fade out and in. Okay? Uh, and then I'm just going to copy this event over. So you have down turtle and paste it in because it's the same deal. So what's going to happen, we come over here, we're going to collide with this piece, got to restart the level. See, now we want to add our score. We want to make our score, you know, change. So we come over here and this is our objects, which is why we're, uh, we were in here for to change the rooms. Now where is the score? I think it's score. Yeah, it's probably the score section, right? So what's going to happen is when you're going to set the new score, you're going to set it uh, 1, and this will be relative to the last one. You're going to check relative, because relative makes it like a counter. It makes it so like relative to the last score, you add 1 to it, okay? Hope you understand that. So like if the score will be 0, you hit him, it will be relative to the last one, 1, so it will add 1, so, it'll set, so 1 will be 2, okay? So you do that, and then we're going to want to draw our score. So we're just going to draw score, and x, y, 0, 0. And the caption will be deaths because that's actually what happens. So deaths. Okay. And then I'm going to shift click these two. Copy. Put the same things in the up down turtle. And then we're just going to pop in here. And, ooh. Because you restart the room. That's true. Huh. I'm not quite sure. Anyways, we'll just get rid of the draw list. We're just going to get rid of the draw. Draw list value of a score. Set store draw. It's not a big deal. We'll fix it later. But, um, right now, right? What's this? Test score. I don't like score. We're not going to test it. So we'll just add it. We'll add a death each time we hit the turtle and we'll um, draw the score later. And maybe restarting a room isn't a very good idea. Maybe we're going to we're gonna change that. But uh, for right now, I think that's fair enough. You guys can play around with this. You know, like use the walls to make levels, make it difficult to move past the turtles. And next tutorial, I think we're going to transition from room to room. We're going to do that one. That's pretty simple. It's not a big deal. But like as I said, we're making a game in here. And like each each part, we're going to, you know, mess around with something, add something more. Just It'll be cool. So what are we doing here? I'm stopped recording. All right, see you guys later.